first off, uh, generally speaking, our water quality at our beaches is, is, is good. Um, the department does follow up with uh, E. coli issues. And uh, it's important to note also that uh, there are many you know, causes of E. coli. So sometimes it can be very difficult to determine what uh, the, the source is. Is or, or pinpointing it to one particular thing. There's no, indi there's no indication. Sorry, I'm not on here. <laughs> I'm good. Okay, so there's no indication right now of where it came from at all. It will certainly depend on the uh, the location of where the E. coli is found, um, and you know E. coli certainly occurs naturally in the environment also, and could be uh, you know caused by birds, uh, animals, and, and so forth. Is it still an issue this summer, or is there a plan to uh, to deal with it? Thank you for the uh, for the question. Uh, most certainly, if there was E. coli found at a particular location, uh, we would do an investigation to try and identify the source. And uh, once identified, we would attempt to address it. Thank you. Okay. And also, researchers have found. Um, um, raise concerns with surrounding uh, the blue-green algae in the St. John River. And, and there seems to be a growing list of lakes that, it, that it's coming up in as well. Uh, is there any research being done to determine the source of the algae? The question. Uh, so blue-green algae does occur naturally in our environments, and uh, we have found it in, in lakes and rivers here in the province for the past 10 years or so. Uh, when we do find it, uh, you know, we do do testing and try to identify the particular source of it or certainly the source that may be feeding that algae. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for those. Um, in the presentation to the Climate Change and Environmental Stewardship Standing Committee, um, you mentioned that the Pesticide Advisory Committee has not met, met since uh, 2009. And according to legislation, they're supposed to meet annually. Is this committee functioning? Are there members to it? Question. Uh, yes, we do recognize the uh, the requirement for the uh, the advisory board, and in fact, uh, that particular advisory board has not met in the past 20 years. Uh, but having said that, we are actually uh, currently in the process of reviving that and uh, working with the departments that are named in the act to uh, move that board forward. Thank you. Um, and the DOE does the DOE test for the presence of glyphosate? Question. So, uh, I guess uh, we do do generally uh, our general sampling of our water courses here in the province. Uh, but of course, if there was a complaint or, or some need to, to test specifically for glyphosate, we would certainly do that. Has it been tested for, and has there any been any found in the last few years? Question. Uh, we did not test for glyphosate specifically. Okay. The water course alteration programs uh, issued 1,980 water course and wetland alter, alteration permits. Um, in uh, 19 and 20, the report stated a total of 34 exemptions were requested. Can you um, tell us who asked for those exemptions? Thank you for the question. In the case of Wawa permits, uh, we actually don't give exemptions, uh, but as mentioned, there were 1,980 permits issued in that particular year. Thank you. So none of them were granted? They were all granted. No. 27 were refused. 27 were granted or just reviewed, sorry? 27 were refused or not granted. Or refused, okay. Okay, that's all the question I have right now. I'm almost out of my time, so I'll save it for next round. Thank you. I ran out of time on my last line of questioning, but just to get back to the alteration for the uh, water course and wetland, um, 17 you said were refused. Um, can you kind of go over the numbers again and, and why were they refused and, and how many were accepted um, and, and why and who was it? Can you give us some details? For the question, 
uh, with respect to the uh, the fiscal year 1920, as mentioned before, uh, 1980 uh, Wawa permits uh, were approved, 27 uh, were refused, and those were private individuals or businesses. Thank Can you. you elaborate on which businesses were approved? Actually, uh, we don't have the full list of 1,980 uh, individuals or businesses that were approved, but we'll certainly look into that uh, question. Thank you. Okay, that would be fantastic. Um, and um, for glyphosate for testing, you said that there was asked. You, um, they're not, they haven't tested in the last five years, which is kind of concerning, especially with so many uh, um, concerns over from the, from the public. Um, who has to ask? to be, for that to be tested? Can it be the public or does it have to be a department or who has to have the ask? Thank you for the question. Um, with respect to glyphosate, most certainly if, if there was a, a significant uh, complaint identified that deemed an investigation and testing, uh, we certainly would uh, pursue that. I should also mention too that Health Canada uh, monitors for pesticides across the country and they have not uh, indicated to us that there, were, there have been any concerns uh, with glyphosate uh, here in New Brunswick based on their testing to date. Thank you. Do the, do the, does the federal government re, um, provide test results at all to the, to the provincial government, to the departments? We have uh, regular meetings with Health Canada and uh, most certainly if there was an issue identified here in the province, it would be brought to our attention. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you. That's all I have with that line. And just um, a couple questions about the department uh, and the SPCA. Um, in January of 19, the People's Alliance Caucus met with the then Jennifer, uh, Minister Jeff Carr and his department um, to get a briefing for the changes that be made on legislation. And we were told then that um, the file was being finished and the proposed legislation was soon on its way. So now we're into February and we're just wondering what's happening with this file and, and, uh, and where it stands now. Thank you for the question. Uh, as I uh, had mentioned to uh, MLA Carr uh, a few moments ago, uh, the, the file is progressing uh, and at the appropriate time those regulations uh, would be uh, posted publicly. Um, there are a, a number, the, the process is playing itself out basically. Is there a reason that, was, that it's taken so long? Is, it, is there holdups or? Uh, there, there are, in the process, uh, there are legislative uh, pieces as well as legal pieces and we're working through those. Okay. Um, that's all the questions that I have for today. Thank you, Madam Chair, and thank you to the uh, 